Here's the start. Seven and a half laps long. Total of 28 hurdle jumps. That water jump will be once per lap. For McAdams to make this Olympic team, he needs to stay out of trouble early on and maintain just enough contact to use his ferocious kick at the end. You see the four runners that have achieved the A Olympic standard. A necessary uh, option for making the trip to Beijing. And the favorite, Anthony Familetti, goes right to the front. And this is exactly what I would have thought would happen. He is very fit right now. I expect him to attack, 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 and already he has a little bit of a gap. And Maletti has the lead. Olinger in second. Hewling is third. Femaletti has decided to make this just a ferocious pace, try to run the legs off of everybody else. Now, he has a pretty good kick himself, but I think he's a little leery of McAdams' kick, who's back in seventh place right now. Anthony Famoletti has the lead with Brian Olinger in second place. Dan Hewling is third. Billy Nelson settles into the fourth spot. A little bit of a gap between three and four. Here's the water jump. The success of the water jump is all about maintaining your speed going into the barrier. You've got to, you can't slow down. You can't chop your stride. You just have to roll. If you go in fast, you're going to clear the water with only one foot wet. Famoletti, Olinger, Hewling, then Steve Slattery now takes over fourth and Billy Nelson. Famoletti is an artist, a painter, and a sculptor, and he's certainly putting his artistic mark on this event right now. Setting the pace early. Are they ever setting their pace through? Oh, about two laps. They are about five seconds under the Olympic A standard. They're running about 8.19 pace. That's very fast. And Famoletti increasing his advantage. It's catch me if you can for the favorite Anthony Famoletti. Josh McAdams is trying to keep that lead a little tenuous. He, he actually has gapped it a little bit, closed it up to fifth place, but he's got to stay close. He's got a great kick, but if he's too far back, he's not going to be able to use it. Famoletti leads, Olinger second, Hewling third, Slattery fourth, McAdams fifth, Nelson sixth, and Alcorn seventh at the moment. And they have five laps remaining. Now for a report of the men's high jump conclusion, let's go to Dwight Stones. All right, Tom, a little drama, a little complication. The men's high jump, Jesse Williams is the clear winner, but they had to go down and break a sixth place tie because Jamie Nieto did not have the A standard for the Olympics. The A standard, seven, six and a half. Dusty Jonas, who has the best jump in the world this year, but was not in the top three, makes seven, five and a quarter, or five and three quarters, I should say, on the jump off. And then he had to wait while Scott Sellers of Kansas State, who also has the Olympic qualifier, former NCAA champion, is Sellers. Has struggled here in 2008, but as soon as Sellers missed, that broke the tie for sixth place, and that put Dusty Jonas on the Olympic team. Talk about backing into it. What a reprieve for Dusty Jonas, top jumper in the world this year. He is able, even in sixth place, to represent the U.S. because Jamie Nieto, Cedric Norman, and Keith Moffat did not have the A qualifying standard. So your Olympians in the high jump, Jesse Williams, Andre Manson, and Dusty Jonas. All right, Dwight, and that A standard could come into play here in the steeplechase. With four laps remaining, Famoletti leads the A standard 824.60. Only four of the runners, Famoletti, McAdams, Olinger, and Slattery have achieved the A standard. Famoletti is running very hard right now. Olinger in second place. I'm surprised he's right there right now because he looks so poor in the first heat. And Josh McAdams now moving up to fourth. So Famoletti leads, Olinger in a distant second, Hewling is third, McAdams is fourth, Jake Morse is fifth, and Billy Nelson. When you're out like this with Famoletti, you are committed now. He's running a good pace going into the water jump. And Billy Nelson's taken over third place. And Famoletti still has the big lead through the water jump and into the straightaway. Billy Nelson was second at the NCAAs. He's from the University of Colorado, just graduated. Famoletti, Olinger, Nelson, McAdams, Morse. And Famoletti, the leader from the outset. Three laps to go. 
And Steve Prefontaine would be proud of the pace that Famoletti is setting. Pre was a front runner. Fam certainly is a front runner right now. Olinger, no man's land in second place. And Josh McAdams in third. On to the back straightaway. And Famoletti with every stride seemingly increasing his margin. Approaching this hurdle. Anthony Famoletti over safely. Olinger still second but losing ground. McAdams in third. Jake Morse is now in fourth place. Billy Nelson has dropped back to fifth. It's gut check time right now for Olinger if he's going to hold on to the second spot. Josh McAdams comes into the water jump. He has excellent technique, almost clears the water. His sights are now on Olinger. Famoletti. Here's the crowd with a big lead. Olinger second, but McAdams is closing in. Then it's Nelson and Morse. Well, Famoletti is out on his own. He has the advantage of the jumbotron on either side. He's looking up. He can see that he is clear. Olinger, if he can hold on to second spot, will get a spot onto the Olympic team. And McAdams is stalking him. Now, McAdams has probably the best closing speed in the entire field. I think he has spotted Famoletti a little bit too much, but never say never with Josh McAdams. He can really run fast on the last lap. Famoletti way out in front. Olinger second, but McAdams moves up to threaten, and Nelson also closing some ground. Morse is there, too. Billy Nelson from the University of Colorado has not given up on this, and he goes by McAdams. And Nelson takes over second. So Billy Nelson moves into second place behind Famoletti over the water jump. McAdams holds third. Olinger dropping back now is fourth and Morse is fifth. Famoletti through the straightaway. Rhythmic clapping from the crowd. Anthony Famoletti the big knee lead. Billy Nelson second. Jake McAdams third. Now Morse fourth. Olinger fading. There's the bell, the final lap. Famoletti leading it. Nelson second, McAdams third, then Morse, and then Olinger. Billy Nelson, the, the collegiate, has moved up into second and just running an inspired race, pulling away from McAdams. McAdams is going to have to really gear down now. He's got a gap. If he can just hold that and get clean over the barriers, he's going to make the Olympic team. Bam now seems to be coming back. They may have a chance of getting him. Famoletti. Tiring a bit, but still with a big lead. Nelson sets sail after him. McAdams right on his heels. Into the turn, the water jump approaches. Anthony Famoletti with the big lead. Nelson and McAdams over the water jump. Famoletti turns for home with the advantage. Nelson there as McAdams alongside the challenge. Here's Famoletti over the final hurdle. McAdams has taken over second. Nelson comes back. Those two fighting for the final two spots. Famoletti's going to win it. It's going to be Nelson second and McAdams third. That's your U.S. Olympic team. All have the A standard.